Hi, Sir Gregory with Milan Productions. We're here at Red Crags Estates in Manitou Springs, Colorado, USA with Nicholas Olson. Nick is one of our paladins and he's one of our fight trainers for Milan Productions. He teaches people how to fight. You're actually a certified martial artist, correct? Yes, sir, I am. And Nick Olson has been a, an absolute blessing to Milan Productions. He's taught many people self-defense and the most important thing that Nick has done for us is actually bring realism to our fight scenes as paladins, holy warriors, are killing the vampires and the turned vampires. Nick, can you tell the fans a little bit about yourself and what you do and where you come from and thank you very much. Okay, well, uh, to start off with, I, other than doing acting, I pretty much just work and do martial arts for about every day of my life. Uh, I've been training in martial arts for about eight years now. I love teaching people, I love doing it, and this new acting opportunity gives me a, a really good outlook on how other people view the world. What level and what discipline of martial arts are you? Um, my original uh, rank is in Taekwondo. I have reached my third degree black belt, and I've trained in a, a bunch of other kind of counter disciplines where it ranges all the way from judo jiu-jitsu to kung fu to short range boxing to kickboxing nice nice what do you recommend for people who want to get into action film like uh, mylan productions uh, is currently involved in making action films i'd say learn to take a hit that's, <laughs> that's really one of the best ways to do it um, because not, not every stunt double is going to look like you. And not every person is going to be do, going to be expressing themselves the way that you're going to be expressing yourself. The way I express myself is through martial arts. And if you pick up martial arts, then I'll be one of your forms of self-expression too. That's right. Now you teach a lot on chi. Can you explain that briefly? I can try. <laughs> chi is just defined as an internal energy. Uh, chi is all around us. It emanates from our bodies and once we learn to uh, use the chi as a flow, like in Tai Chi, we can cleanse our bodies of illnesses and we can even use chi to calm ourselves down in nerve-wracking situations such as filming. Now in the film you play a paladin, a holy warrior sent to kill pure-blooded Nosferatu vampires. You did a lot of preparation for that, a lot of uh, training with real swords and, and real fighting, and you were, you were one of the instructors for that. How did you feel about that? I felt great. Um, just about one of the coolest things you can do is pick up a sword and swing at somebody. So, also with the, uh, with the sword training, it's, uh, it's really, it's really eye-opening. Because I, I trained in kin, Kinjitsu before, which is just Japanese fencing with a uh, katana sword. And, you know, getting, grabbing one of those, those big medieval swords, it really, really shows you how cultures learn to fight differently. Right. Because you're very good with a katana and you're very good with a medieval European sword. In filming Draco Ortis, Dragon Rising, uh, the fight scenes, the, the more intense uh, talking scenes, what was some of your favorite times? Because you worked with Shayla Page, Tavita Tata, Sarah Hartman, Evan Jackson, Jeremy McKittrick, Brianna Montanarello, and several other really, really good actors. What was some of your favorite uh, moments on that? Well, some of my favorite moments is when we uh, put the scene together where uh, the other Slayers are training with uh, Sarah Hartman, which plays one of our other paladins. Um, kind of putting that together was a little tricky because we didn't want to just sit to the side and have just all the slayers wait till attack. No, we wanted to make it more of a, a realistic fight scene because if you're surrounded by, by people with swords, they're not going to take turns attacking you. They're going to come at the same time. So that's what we wanted to reiterate with that scene. So that's why we went with a uh, more of a 60, uh, 360 degree combat system there. They use the 1 through 9, 360 that Milan Productions teaches. Yes, sir, we did. You're also an instructor with Citadel Process, mm -hmm. the actual training company for Milan Productions, where they teach the 1 through 9, 360 sword technique. Mm -hmm. 
So how about how long does it normally take a person to basically get the basics of that down? To get the basics, it really depends on the passion of what you are doing. Um, to learn the basics would take about a half hour. To practice the basics would you have to practice them throughout a lifetime to really get them done. Right. About how much time do you spend a week practicing your martial arts? Oh, uh, about 24 to 36 hours a week. I believe that. Well, folks, Nicholas Olson, between the lion and the frog, very, very appropriate for a martial artist, bringing in all the elements of nature. Thank you. Um, I've seen this guy teach a lot of people, and he's done a fantastic job. Keep your eye on Nicholas Olson. He's going to go places. Citadel Process, Milan Productions. We thank Red Crags Estates here in Manitou for this. And keep watching the Eye of Noir Vampire series. Draco Ortis, Milan Productions. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. Good job.